Arthur loves working on the island of Sodor. He is new to the railway and is still learning his way around. One morning, he discovered the fishing village. The sun made the water sparkle and the seagulls called across the harbor. This was Arthur's favorite place. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. He paused impressively. Thomas and Percy looked away. They had enough work to do. Arthur hoped he would have been chosen said Thomas, but he was really did not like the s- smell of fish at all. Arthur was disappointed. Sir Hopham Hat sent him to the whole coal at the steelworks. That evening, Thomas was at the washdown with Ar- Arthur puffed in. Do I smell a fishy engine? He teased. Huffed Thomas. Arthur wished he could go to the fishing village instead of the steelworks. He'd be much happier than Thomas. The next morning, Thomas was still grumpy. The fishermen had caught lots of fish said Thomas, said the fisherman, puffed Thomas. Thomas steamed as fast as he could along the line, but there was trouble ahead. Some faulty points set his freight cars one way and Thomas onto the old pyre rail. The troublesome trucks were delighted. He's falling in the water! (laughs) Luckily, Thomas wasn't hurt, and the fish freight cars stayed on the tracks. When Sir Topham Hatt heard the news, he checked his timetable. It was a hot day. The ice that was keeping the fish cold started to melt, moaned Thomas. Arthur was surprised to see Thomas in the tidal pool. Are you all right, Thomas? Called Arthur's driver. Arthur knew he had to hurry. He raced along the line to the docks and arrived there just in time. Later, Arthur went to see Thomas in the fitter's yard, said Thomas. Thank you said Arthur. I wish I had the fishing village line all the time. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. He said, Me, Arthur blurted out, and please, sir, may I run on that line all the time? Thomas doesn't like fish, but I do. Then said Sir Topham Hatt, Arthur was delighted. The next morning, he puffed into the fishing village right on time. The smell of fish was everywhere, but he was sure he had the most beautiful line on the island of Sodor.